Today we will be learning about determining the end behavior of the graph of polynomial function using the leading coefficient test. But first, what is a leading coefficient test? Leading coefficient test is the test which enables you to discover the behavior of the graph in terms of rising and falling. This utilizes the leading coefficient and whether the degree is odd or even to determine the behavior of the curves. So this is what the leading coefficient test tells. If the degree of a given polynomial is even, and that even degree is accompanied by a positive leading coefficient, therefore, the graph will behave rising on the left side and also rising on the right side of the graph. But if that even degree of a given polynomial function is accompanied by a negative leading coefficient, it will behave by falling on the left side and falling on the right side as well. So to make it simple, we have the notation if an even degree is accompanied by a positive leading coefficient that therefore it will behave by rising on the left side and also rising on the right side. If we do have an even degree and accompanied by a negative coefficient, it will behave by falling on the left side and also falling on the right side. So notice that whenever the degree is even, the start is the same as the end. Or the left side behavior or the left behavior is the same as the right side behavior in a graph of a polynomial function. But if the degree of a given polynomial function is odd, and that odd degree is accompanied by a positive leading coefficient, the behavior or the end behavior of the graph will fall on the left side but it will ri rise on the right side. But if that odd behavior, or rather odd degree, is accompanied by a negative coefficient, it will rise on the left side, but it will fall on the right side. We may use the notation just like this one. So if an odd degree polynomial is accompanied by a positive leading coefficient, so the behavior will fall, will be uh, falling, on the left side but rising on the right side but if that odd degree is accompanied by a negative leading coefficient it will rise on the left side but will fall on the right side so keep in mind that whenever the degree is odd the start or the behavior on the left side is different from the behavior on the right side so let's have an example or other application of this idea for this couple of examples f of x equals 3x squared minus 2x plus 2. How will the graph of this polynomial function behave? The end behavior. So for us to do that, let us have a couple of information extracted from this given polynomial function. So first is what is the leading term? So the leading term is the term from a given polynomial function that holds the highest degree. So in this case, the leading term is 3x squared. Okay. So from this leading term, we will determine the degree of this polynomial function and the degree is obviously 2. And 2 is an even number. So we do have even. How about the leading coefficient? The leading coefficient is the numerical coefficient of the leading term. So this is our leading coefficient that is 3. And that number 3 is positive. So what we do have now is an even degree accompanied by a positive leading coefficient. So therefore, how will the behavior of the graph or end behavior of the graph of our polynomial function will be? So, it will be rises. It will rise on the left side and it will also rise on the right side because we have even. The start and the end are the same or the left side behavior and the right side behavior are the same. So, rises. So, it rises on the left side and also rises on the right side. So, this is the possible end behavior of our graph in this given polynomial function. Another example equals negative 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus 37x minus 12. So first is what is the leading term? So the leading term, again, is the term that holds the highest exponent or highest degree. So that is our leading term. So our leading term is negative 5x to the third power or negative 5x cubed. And what is the degree of this one? So the degree is 3. So number 3 is obviously an odd number. How about the leading coefficient? So the leading coefficient, again, is the numerical coefficient of our leading term. 
but we do have this negative 5 and that is a negative number so what we do have now is an odd degree accompanied by a negative leading coefficient so how will be the behavior of our graph so it will be rising on the left side and falling on the right side so to visualize it so it will be rising on the left side but it will be falling on the right side so as what i said earlier whenever the degree is odd the behavior on the left side is different from the behavior on the right side of the graph hope you understand let's have example number three f of x equals 5x minus 2 times negative x plus 3 times 2x minus 1 times x plus 1. So, how are we going to determine the leading term for this one since the given function is in factored form? So, it is simple. We just simply need to multiply the first terms of each since it is the only thing that we do need for us to determine the end behavior of the graph of this function. So, we do have 5x times negative x times 2x and times x and that will give us negative 10 x to the fourth power so negative 10 x to the fourth power is the leading term from this given polynomial function so therefore the degree is 4 and number 4 is an even number the leading coefficient the leading coefficient is negative 10 which is this one that came from the numerical coefficient of the leading term since it is negative 10, so obviously it is a negative number. So what we do have now is a combination of an even degree accompanied by a negative leading coefficient. So how will the graph behave? So it will behave by falling on the left side but and also falling on the right side. So the same start and end, the same behavior on the left side and the right side again because our degree is even number. So visualizing that one, so the possible behavior of the graph the end behavior rather will be falling on the left side and also falling on the right side. Okay. Last example. So, hope you are getting the idea on how the leading coefficient test works in determining the end behavior of a graph in a polynomial function. f of x equals x plus 7, x minus 3, times x minus 1 quantity cubed, times x plus 2 quantity squared. So, what will be the leading term for this one so we just simply again multiply the first terms of each so we do have x times x so for this one we will be considering this as x cubed because this term is raised to the third power also this one it, this will be x squared because it is raised to the second power so again we do have x times x times x cubed times x squared and that will give us x to the 7 power. So therefore, our degree is 7. And 7 is an odd number. How about the leading coefficient? So the leading coefficient is obviously 1. And that 1 is a positive number. So a combination of an odd degree accompanied by a positive leading coefficient. So how will the behavior of the graph will be now? So since it is odd degree with a positive leading coefficient, therefore it will start on the left side by falling and will end rising okay so we do have an odd degree therefore the left side behavior is different from the right side behavior because we do have an odd degree so visualizing that therefore the graph will be somehow look like this one so falling on the left side but rising on the right side again just only the end behavior so we will be using this idea of the leading coefficient test if ever that we are going to graph now a polynomial function but for now that i want you to master the idea under the leading coefficient test so that's all for this one hope you understand the concept for this topic so thank you for watching hope you understand it